So guys, I guess you know by now, Dylan White has been ordered to fight Tyson Fury for the mandatory space to fight Deontay Wilder. But the only problem I have with this fight, is not the fight itself, I think it's a good fight, a very very good fight, a huge showdown that could possibly sell at Wembley or Old Trafford or a big stadium like that. So I have no problem with the fight, I think it would be a great fight, a great matchup also, because Dylan White comes to fight and Tyson Fury does look good against fighters who come to fight. But the only problem I have with it is why does Dylan White have to fight for a mandatory space when he has been ranked number one by the WBC since 2017, yet number four challenger, Dominic Brazil, is made mandatory. So we cannot see really where the WBC are coming from. Because, I mean, I'm glad they are putting pressure on Deontay Wilder now and making him have these fights. Dominic Brazil, I mean, he's not a great fighter, but still, he can cause Deontay Wilder some problems. And who would Deontay Wilder have fought if not him? Someone like a journeyman, I imagine. So... To be honest, I'm glad they are putting more pressure on him to make him be a worthy champion if he can. But still, it's just not fair to Dylan White. Dylan White should have had his chance a long time ago. He should be fighting Deontay Wilder on May 18, not Dominic Brazil. He is the number one challenger. He has been for a while and he has done everything the WBC have asked of him. Yet, he still hasn't had a shot yet. He has jumped through hoop after hoop for the WBC. But still, they continue to screw him. And if I'm perfectly honest, I don't think this fight will even happen anyway. While it is an incredible fight, and either fighter would be happy to get in there with each other, they would be happy to fight each other, Dylan White would be bang up for this fight, and I think Tyson Fury would also, but there is no title on the line, it is for the mandatory space, and Tyson Fury, he can get a rematch with Deontay Wilder whenever he wants, because he's already turned down one rematch, so he can get that fight whenever he wants, so why would he want to fight Dylan White and have the work of him, when he can go straight to the source, Deontay Wilder, and get in there with him? Because he can have that rematch whenever he wants, because he has a good relationship with Deontay Wilder, apparently. So he can get that fight whenever he wants. So he's not going to want the work of Dylan White in order just to get that shot. He's going to want the work of Dylan White once he is champion, because he believes he beats Deontay Wilder. But also something interesting coming from Tyson Fury, is he said in a recent interview of IFL, that three more, then he's done. I think, to be honest, Tyson Fury might be struggling again. I mean, you can't read too much into it, I guess. I mean, it was just one interview. But it just seems like he's going back to those negative ways and possibly thinking about retiring. Maybe the novelty of coming back to boxing is wearing off, which is a great shame. I like Tyson Fury and I want to see him do well and maybe reach the heights that he has done before. And to be honest, going in there with someone like Deontay Wilder or Dylan White when you're not bang up for it is not a great idea. Now I'm not saying Deontay Wilder is a great boxer because I don't think he is to be honest but he has one big shot and Tyson Fury he has been caught by it before so he knows the power that Deontay Wilder possesses so I mean he doesn't want to go in there out of shape and not ready for the fight and the same against Dylan White if he were to fight Dylan White and be out of shape and not in the right frame of mind then Dylan White is going to knock him out cold because Dylan White is a very very heavy hitter I think he is showing that now especially in his previous fights against Derek Chisora even Joseph Parker I know he didn't stop him but he's the first ever to knock him down. So I mean that just shows that this would be a great fight, Tyson Fury versus Dylan White, because Dylan White does possess the power to knock Tyson Fury out, and Tyson Fury obviously can outbox Dylan White, because he can outbox any fighter in the heavyweight division, because he is just so technically gifted, but he doesn't always look that good in fights, but against fighters who come to fight, like Dylan White, he always puts up a good show then, because he looked good in the Deontay Wilder fight, he made that a good fight because Deontay Wilder came to fight, and the same would apply against Dylan White, but again, I just don't see this fight happening, because as I said, why would Tyson Fury have the work of Dylan White for a mandatory space when he can just get a world title shot whenever he wants against Deontay Wilder? Because him and Shelley Finkel, I mean, they seem to be quite clicky, Frank Warren obviously in there also, they get on quite well, and they kind of want to show up Anthony Joshua, so they're quite happy to make that fight again, I think. So guys, all in all, I think the WBC are putting more pressure on Deontay Wilder, and about time, right? But the only thing is, I think they need to be giving Dylan White his shot. I don't think he should have to fight Tyson Fury for the mandatory space. He's number one, and he has been number one for a while, so he deserves his shot. He shouldn't have to fight Tyson Fury in order to be mandatory. And Tyson Fury, as I said, I don't think he will take that fight anyway, so I don't think the fight will go ahead. But I think it would be a great fight. Other than the fact that Dylan White has been kind of screwed a bit by the WBC, I think it is a great fight and I would love to see it. It's just whether it will go ahead. I'm not so sure, but guys, what are your thoughts? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.